Good morning, everyone, or afternoon, or whatever it is. This is uh, JJ Jakes here, and it's been a long time since I've bought anything to review, so I went on a huge spending spree recently. Uh, I'm on the other side of the camera, by the way. We'll be looking at stuff here, um, and I got a package in today, so I figured I'd make a quick video to show you what's in it. Uh, I got more stuff coming, mystery bags and um, that kind of thing in the next couple of days. So I uh, I bought some stuff from <clears throat> the usual place I go to, Bud K. Uh, gosh, where else did I buy from? I bought so much stuff, I can't even remember everything. And like, so like stuff's coming in. I was like, oh yeah, I did buy that. <laughs> so... It's even the things that I ordered on purpose, and I know I ordered them. Um, I kind of forgot I ordered them, so it's all a grab bag to me. Anyway, this is an order I placed from SmokyMountainKnifeWorks.com. Uh, they gave me this cool sticker, so I think I would show it off. I don't know what I'm going to put it on, but if it cuts, they carry it. And they carry uh, a lot of garbage, but also some decent stuff. They, they, they're like an outlet for like uh, frost cutlery uh rough rider place where you, you can get stuff pretty damn cheap and so i bought a couple of things just because i wanted to check out uh, these knives for myself uh they're not a sponsor or anything they're not paying me anything I'm just anyway i wanted to own and feel and play with one of these this is um a doctor's knife and i i kind of liked it just from the first glance because it's um i think it looks elegant it's one of those like gentleman's knives uh this isn't made by steel warrior which is frost cutlery basically um its construction isn't too bad i do see a gap in the back there which gaps are signs of bad quality but i mean this is mother of pearl and, and it actually is mother of pearl because you can tell that they laid it in the back there and there's the resin on top anyway um, but just the way that it's sort of got these uh, sharp lines and it's blocked off, it's very boxy. Um, and the reason it's called a doctor's knife, it's got a blade on it, just a typical drop point uh, slip joint blade. But it's also got um, a spatula. Uh, which I'm not... I couldn't figure out how to open because there's no thumb groove. <laughs> so I like... Took a rubber band and just kind of used it as a grip and I can just grab it at the tip there and uh, wrestle it out a little bit of creativity there um, and this is another reason why I wanted it so just the, the handle itself was kind of boxy looking and I I kind of like that utilitarian look and the story behind the spatula is this is not sharp it's not meant as a cutting implement um, historically doctors would toss one of these in their doctor's bags and actually use it to to scoop to, to measure out small quantities of, uh, of powders for making tinctures and, and administering small amounts of medicines um, spatulas like this no not not in this knife folding knife form but the tool itself the spat the idea of using a spatula for moving small amounts of powders etc is still in practice today and if you ever took a chemistry class and you had to weigh something out you use a spatula um now i don't plan on bringing this into a lab and trying to use it but anyway i i just kind of wanted one and now i have one and the mother of pearl i mean i'm i guess it's genuine because you can see how it's like kind of crusty looking in in between the resin and the liner but it doesn't matter to me it was like 13 dollars uh so now i have my own doctor's knife uh there's another type of knife i wanted <laughs> and it's called a lady leg where the knife is in the shape of a lady's leg i see these all over the place from smoky mountain knife works rough rider or whatever these cheap basically like a budget case cutlery kind of deal uh where you get the uh you know your stockman or your trapper or your texas toothpick for like 
eight bucks a piece in some generic wood pattern or whatever. But they have they have this line. What do they call it? A slow burn. Um, poor choice of packaging because like they got this cool like sunburst thing, but then the text disappears into the black. So it's like, <laughs> what the hell does it say? Uh, the custom made gradient inlay. Uh, whatever it's huge it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be in the photo and I know they make smaller ones but I ordered this one because like I don't know I thought the gradient would be kind of cool it goes from like yellow to mustard to sriracha to barbecue sauce um, but the gradient is kind of screwy it's like these three look the same to me and then suddenly you got mustard and then it's like it goes orange and then red again and then orange and then burnt red and then black or whatever and on the blade it's uh, it's one of those like two stage liner lock type or not liner lock slip joint types and it says slow burn on it Ooh, there i am hello <laughs> um it's dirty and it's got some scuff marks on it here and there it's about the quality I would expect for something I bought for like eight bucks or whatever um, actually I can tell you the exact amount I paid for this uh, eight dollars and ninety nine cents so it's the slow burn large lady leg whatever but now I own one of these two um, say what you want about it it's just I, I saw them all the time on their site and I just kind of had to have one and uh, <laughs> I don't regret buying it. And I don't regret buying the Doctor's Knife, too. I like this. It's nice. Um, I bought one more thing. I got this mystery box. Oh, it's huge. Of frost cutlery knives. <laughs> Which, uh, if you know anything about them, these knives are going to be such garbage. And I don't remember how many are in here, but I paid 30 bucks for it. So, and it feels heavy, so there's got to be a lot in there, right? I don't know. Um, I don't, I just don't remember, because like I said, I ordered so much stuff, and I, anyway, let's open this thing up. And see what's inside. Whoa. And, holy cow, what am I looking at? We're all in boxes. There's one on a card. That's okay. That's all rubber banded together, too. Let's see what we got. Oh my goodness. Look at all this. Oh, it's too much for. <laughs> wow. How many are in here? Holy crap. I just didn't. Wow. Look at all this. I just. I didn't expect to see so many. Okay. So, um. I paid $30 for. Let's see, one, two, three, eight, five, two more, so 15, I guess. So two bucks a piece. Um, holy crap. <laughs> this is going to take a while. I, I, I'm really happy about this. I don't, I don't care if they're all garbage. Uh, I guess we'll start with the one that's in this package. Um... I thought it would be clever mounting my camera and looking at a table like everyone else does, but the viewing. Oh my god. Sorry about that, folks. I'm, I'm a novice. What can I say? Okay. It says, uh, I, Iron Horse Tactical. Jesus, I get it. We'll just do it like this. Sorry. I'll learn as I go. Iron Horse Tactical with flip and stick action. What the hell? Flip and stick action. I, I've never heard of that. Is it open assisted or something? Flip and stick. It's a black tactical folded black coated stainless blade liner lock and thumb stud. One handed opening and closing with a liner lock? Like, yeah, I can do that. Um. Hmm. Oh, and there's like other knives in the series, I guess. 
other fine products available for purchase. Fine and very fine indeed. What the hell am I looking at? Okay. <laughs> um, well, let's just see what it can do. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to the packaging of all of these in case, I don't know, there might be something more on there I could read about and it might be funny. So it's, oh, it's one of those like black stone wash blades. I'm almost afraid to open it because I don't know what a, was it flip and stick action? Uh, well, there's a little, that's kind of assisted open. Ow, oh, that's just not strong enough. It's probably one of those where the there's a sprung piece of steel in the liner. No? Okay, well. I guess it's just weak. Uh, uh, it, it just needs to be worked in, I guess, and it's... it's that's that. Not very excited about it, but... Um, yeah, okay. So let's look at the next one. Tactical knife. <laughs> uh, it's got some spidey holes there. Uh, there it is folded, floating in some kind of a nebula. Five inch folder side side locks? Is that black what? side lock? Side locks. What is that? I'm mystified. Okay. Well, it feels very cheap and kind of gross. <laughs> uh, I see the the pivot is riveted on one side. Did, oh wait, this so it, this feels like it's hinged or something. Side lock. I don't know how to use it. <laughs> so it's not a liner lock. And it's not a back lock. That's a side lock. And this this piece is like separate from the rest of the blade. So maybe I push it? Pull it? Hmm. Swivel it, maybe. What in the world? I have no idea what I'm doing. Are there instructions? Nope, it's... Apparently you're just supposed to know what to do. Well, uh... I guess... I don't want to break it. I am so confused. I'm gonna have to work this out another time folks I'm not sure what to make of it it's cheap as hell and I'm but I'm fascinated with this this whole side lock business I know it's like like some stilettos work that way where they got the little swivel thing up here I just don't know what to do here <laughs> okay well now it's a fixed blade <laughs> All right, okay I'm gonna go for these tiny ones. These look fun. Um, fun and cheap as hell. Let's start off with the tiniest one, the Wildlife Ranger. It just looks like a really generic knife. I like the picture on it though. There's like the deer's over here and the ranger's looking in the wrong direction. I think that just kind of says it all. Um, <laughs> and it's not really a forest green, but yeah, it's all riveted together. This is the kind of thing I would expect to get for like a couple bucks out of a, what do they call those, pop cap cans or whatever. Okay, it's so tiny. So there's this one. Uh, it's got kind of a symbol there. It's hard to see because it's all so bright green. Yeah, so that's tiny. Look at that. 
Uh, oh, this is interesting. An eagle eye from Frost Cover. If you ever watch that knife show that they play after midnight, and they have those like 300 knives for only a hundred bucks. Look at them all. They'll, they'll they'll have like 40 of these in various colors. Um, and I got a bunch of these from gas stations and stuff. It's just uh, wow. It's dirty and greasy. Ugh. It's a real generic stamped riveted knife, but. Um, I don't have one in this color, so that's pretty cool. I got a green, purple, so here we have like Hulk colors. Oh, what's next? What's next? Looks almost the same, just kind of a different handle shape. That's fun. All these little boxes, these are neat. I'm gonna pull out those. I usually hold on to the boxes of the knives I get for no reason. Just sometimes funny things are written on them, or sometimes they have funny art on them. Are these the same knife pretty much? No, they're a little different, sort of, but uh, oh yeah. yeah, it's like a combo the eagle eye blade, yeah, tiny and cheap. But that's fine. That's why I bought. That's why I buy these things. I like the tiny, cheap novelty knife aspect to it. Okay, I'll figure out how to close that one someday. The next one, green again. Attack Extreme. What does that say? Uh. uh it's just dimensions. <laughs> I think this is supposed to be some kind of uh, maybe a zombie theme image there's like a what the hell is that it's a skull I guess but it <coughs> it's got like wrinkles on the forehead maybe it, it's like a Klingon skull maybe alright and that's that. A little bit bigger than the other ones. Um, I just don't have time to say very much about them. It's kind of an unusual shape. And yeah, all right. This is the kind of thing you can expect from these grab bags. Oh, this is interesting. This looks like, um, oh, who makes a knife that looks with that kind of a pattern on the handle? Is that Benchmade or something? What am I looking at? Is that like a, an Apollo capsule or something? Hmm. All right. <laughs> I actually have another knife that is exactly like this one. Um, yeah, yep, it's a Tonto as well. Exactly like this one in every way, but it's bigger. And I got it from a Love's uh, truck stop somewhere in, well, they sell them in different places. But I, I think this this handle pattern is kind of copied from like a, a Benchmade knife or something like that. Or I don't know. So now I have like a medium sized one of these. And it's kind of interesting to me. Um, all right. Now we get to the rest. Holy crap, there's so many of these. <laughs> I'm excited. Uh, we'll start with this one. It's, it's named the Delta Command 2. Oh, this is one of those generic like SWAT knives, SWAT knife style rip, uh, template. I don't know what you call it. Yeah, it's got these two rubbery things, and uh, I got tons of these. Just different blade colors and patterns in the handle. But this one's neat, because it looks like grass. 
I guess. So that's different. <laughs> uh, I got a similar one. Here's the Delta Ranger 3. It looks the same to me so far. Or is that the one I just opened? It's Delta Command 2. Delta Ranger 3. I guess the blade, the, or the, yeah, the blade, they are different. Okay, I can see the differences now. But the pattern is exactly the same. <laughs> um, I guess this is this is the one that has the, the shape and, that I'm a lot more familiar with. Um, you can get them for literally a dollar or two dollars from like Bud K. I got like four of them on the shelf to my left. But now I can add this to the collection. If I can find it again after I put it down. Oh my god. Tanto Hunter. It's a knife that hunts other knives. It hunts the Tantos. What the fuck? Look at this blade. Zombie green as well. I'm thinking about starting a collection of zombie knives, but now there are so friggin' many and they're all shit, but it would have been a fun thing to try to collect. There's too many of them now. So, <laughs> the, <laughs> what is, the, I'm not sure if that's, first I thought I was trying to spell something, but now I don't know what that is. I like how there's like a, some kind of a pivot screw molded into the plastic. Interesting. And, but the blade, cool, it says Zombie Hunter on it with a biohazard symbol. Look at that, it's like a sawtooth pattern. That is so bizarre, I've never seen that before. And then it's got a bunch of holes in it for some reason, and... I don't even know what to say about that, it's just... Pretty unique. Wow. I like it, though. Very industrial looking. <laughs> uh, moving on, we have a... An Eagle Eye 3. So this this should be like the purple one, right? Or is it just... Oh, it's, it's bigger. Oh, okay. It's like huge. Oops, I dropped it. And I actually have another one like this too, but it's like... <coughs> Damn it. Brown, or maybe it's wood. I don't remember. But it's basically the same thing, but bigger. And, uh blacker really big it's like the size of a endura uh, but cheaper than one so that is the the eagle eye 3 by frost cutlery next we have another one of these grass knives the combat ranger and it shows a picture of a is that a tank huh heavy. It's big, but it's heavy. It's the Combat Ranger. So it's got more of these rubbery group things. It, it's... <laughs> yeah, that that, uh, that came out. I guess there was supposed to be glue on it, or maybe more. Yeah, there's like gluey. Yeah. Well, that's kind of interesting. It's like a generic like tire rubber and the blade oh it's stiff and dangerous there it goes the liner lock Let me flip it out there well <laughs> it travels completely to the other side um wow look at that centering it actually you hear that actually colliding with the liner that's the kind of quality you can expect from the combat ranger uh, yeah no regrets then we have the buckshot which has a bunch of skulls on it oh buckshot cutlery what the hell buckshot tactical I'm confused Okay, I think I have another knife like this with a different pattern. That's kind of the... Yeah, I do. Okay. That's kind of the thing you can come to expect from these frost cutlery knives. 
I'm actually going to grab it right now. Um, is that they sort of recycle the same patterns. Or the same knives, they just have different patterns on them. So here's one that I picked up at a, I believe a Love's again. Um, I really like this one because it's like, it's got the USA and it's blue. It's cheap as hell as you can expect, but um, it actually opens with a pretty satisfying thwack. And the blade kind of reminds me of like a some kind of a dinosaur <laughs> where the thumb stud is like the eyeball. I don't know. I'm weird like that. But this is the same knife. You can see there's the, well maybe you can't, there's the USA right here. And here's the, the goofy looking dinosaur blade. Except it's got skulls all over it. So when you put skulls on it, that makes it a buckshot, what was it, uh, tactical. Uh, this one was just in a box with a bunch of other knives, so it didn't have a name. But it's patriotic. So that, and I got another one. Does it open with the same gusto? I guess. Yeah, so this is a recycled pattern. This is a recycled pattern. And, well, this one obviously. But this one kind of too. I mean, I said I had... They're almost the same size. The one on the top is the one I got from the, the Loves. I kept the sticker on it. But yeah, and they're both... This was the little one that I got today. With the serrations of the Tanto blade. and Same thing here. Yep. And it's branded under Master Cutlery. Which is also made by Frost. But this one has the Frost logo on it. So they kind of mess with the logos too. Even though the... Oh yeah, and I just noticed this is a lock back. This one's a liner lock. Hmm. Weird. Oops. Alright. Uh, Green Beret Tactical. It just looks like another generic knife. I, uh, I definitely have this pattern. And another knife I got at a truck stop <laughs> somewhere. It is green and grid like. Green Beret USA. Okay, well. There you have it. I I could maybe I could say more about these, but I don't know. My collection of green stuff is growing. I'm coming down to, is this the last one? Yeah, I guess this is the last one. This, oh, I've actually been wanting one of these. The Storm Chaser 3. So, one of their knives, what the hell? One of the knives that they uh, sell a lot on their television show, Cutlery Corner. They include these, these Storm Chasers um, in a lot of their lots. They, or the, as a giveaway. And I always kind of wanted one because it's got this like cheap plastic like grill on it. <laughs> oh my god, this thing is so fucking cheap. It, it doesn't lock very well, but that's not uncommon for these things. And oh, it just feels grimy. I finally own one of these, a Storm Chaser. <laughs> uh, that makes it worth it to me because now I don't have to call their TV show and order from them directly. But, yeah, it's got a choil on it, too. That's, I don't think a lot of them had that. Anyway, <laughs> I might start carrying this one. I don't know. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. That was uh, <laughs> my $30 of mystery frost cutlery grab bag, whatever. Uh, but I still haven't figured out how to close this one. What was it? Side lock. Arr, I will figure this out. Hmm. I'm. I'm just not. I'm gonna cut myself, aren't I? Anyway, I'll tell you what. Next video I make, I will update you on how to close one of these. Until next time. Smoky Mountain Knife Works.